you're here because you want to know how to use Fiverr like a pro and avoid hiring a dud for your next project. We've all done it. I wasted a lot of money. But you know what? I don't regret it because now you're going to learn a very important lesson. So this information I'm going to give you, I've discovered over time working with small business owners, realtors, professionals, and most importantly, creative professionals who use websites like Odesk, Craigslist, and of course, Fiverr. So you're going to want to stay to the end of this video because I have something special for you. So if you want to know how to Fiverr like a pro, subscribe and keep watching. As you may know or don't know, I run a marketing firm in Miami, Florida, and I work with luxury realtors, also people who own products and things that are sold in major retailers, as well as public figures who sell out things. So like most business owners, they want to get the most bang for their buck, and I'm absolutely no different. So Fiverr is a website that allows you to get some types of creative work done at ridiculously low discounted rates. Fiverr comes up in my daily interaction with clients and in my workshops in two ways. The types of conversations that I get are, wow, you know, they'll look at pricing for a particular product or service and they'll say, ah, I'm not going to pay that. That's way too expensive because I can get it on Fiverr for way less. Or they'll reach out to me or they'll message me or hire my company because they'll say, hey, I hired someone from Fiverr a while back or recently and now I can't use any of the things that they've made for me. It doesn't work for me anymore. So because I'm here for you, I want to give you some tips to help you get the absolute most out of Fiverr. So get your pen, write it down because I'm going to put it in the description box. Here's how you can get the most out of Fiverr. Number one is to be very clear about what it is that you want from your creative professional on Fiverr. This means that if you have an opportunity to share a link with them, to do a screenshot, to just write it down in detail exactly what it is that you want, and most importantly, how you plan to use it, then you will want to use that and share that with the person that you're going to hire on Fiverr. Next, you want to make sure that you look at the reviews. The Fiverr website is really set up in a way to help you to be able to see what the interaction has been in the past. So they have a star system. I believe it's like one through five. If it's not, then um, I'll, you know, I'll make a correction here somewhere. But um, yeah, they use a starring system. So use that, pay attention to it, read the reviews, because sometimes you'll see right there in the reviews that this person may not be the right fit, or you'll see that they're really great and they've consistently been able to give really happy, um, or to create happy clients with their work. So read the reviews. Next thing you want to do after you're very clear on what it is that you want and you've read the reviews is that you want to message the creative professional. Fiverr allows you to send a message directly to the person who you're thinking about hiring before you hire them. So use that feature, you know, talk to them and tell them this is what I'm looking for and the kind of things that you're looking for in the conversation is um, for them to be very clear about. I can do what you want, but maybe it's going to cost a little bit more, or I can do what you want, maybe it's going to take a little bit longer, or sometimes they'll tell you flat out, you know what, I don't know how to do that, and you probably don't want to hire me. And believe me, you'll want to take that extra step before you waste any money. So then, what you want to do for sure is to read the offer really clearly. So on Fiverr, you have to pay before you get anything done. So that means that you want to be clear about what it is that you're buying because it's very possible that you can start out with a offer that's five dollars but once you make all the add-ons you can <laughs> I've seen some placements where um, for example someone offered to make an app and that app was an app for five dollars by the time you add all of the things that you need that are additional features that same app that's advertised for five dollars is actually closer to six or seven hundred dollars so make sure you read exactly what it is that you're going to be getting uh, based on the price that you're paying so my last tip for you is to track your experiences. So the more and more that you use Fiverr, you're going to find that there's some people that really do an amazing job. So take note of that and rehire them, quite frankly. You know, don't um, shoot yourself in the foot and don't try and fix something that's not broken. If someone gives you good service on Fiverr, stay with that person. You won't regret it. So speaking of staying with someone who does a good job, 
In my bumper, the bumper for this video and all the others on my channel, I've always used Fiverr to create animated logos. The reason why, it only takes a couple of dollars and it only takes about 24 hours for the person that I prefer to work with um, to make those things for me. And it's a very small project. And I want to emphasize small project. You should not be using Fiverr to create an entire brand. That's not what you're doing. Or to create all of the elements in your marketing campaign. That's why you would work with someone who can have an overarching look at every single piece of what you're making. Uh, because Fiverr is designed for you to get done very small projects. So the animated logo in my bumper, totally fine. Thumbnails for your YouTube channel, keep it coming. You need to uh, get the, maybe you have a JPEG and you want to get the background worked out so that you can overlay that photo on your business card, great use of fiber. Those are the kind of things that you'll really get your bang for your buck. Remember that you get what you pay for, so manage your expectations when you're using fiber. I say it all the time that if you think an expert is expensive, hire an amateur. Because believe me, you're going to spend more money trying to fix what that amateur did wrong than you would if you just paid a professional from the start. So I promised you something sweet at the end of this video. So I want to give you my free social media guide. You can download it. I'll make the links available here in the description box. And you can put those action steps to work right away in your business. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope you found this information something that you can use right away because, you know, Fiverr really can help you to manage your budget and all of your creative needs because as you're moving forward and as you'll find out in that social media guide, how you present yourself in the different mediums that you do it in really matter in this day and age for your business. So go forth and flourish.